Birbal's kitchen. Once King Akbar and Birbal were walking beside a lake when Akbar said, I wonder if a person will agree to stand in the lake for an entire night. In this freezing winter, if I offer him a handsome reward, Birbal replied, Yes, Your Majesty, if a person is desperate for money, he will agree to do this task. The king ordered him to prove his statement. The next day, Birbal came to the court with a poor priest. He claimed, Your Majesty, this priest is very poor and will stand in the lake the whole night. Akbar promised to give the priest a hundred gold coins if he successfully completed the task. The poor priest was happy and agreed instantly. The priest stood shivering in the cold lake all night long. The next morning he returned to the court to receive his reward. Akbar said to the priest, how did you manage to stand in the freezing water all night? The innocent priest replied, Jahanpana, I saw a faint glowing light coming from your palace. It gave me strength to stand in the cold water. Akbar shouted, Is that so? Well, then you do not deserve the reward. You cheated. The light from the palace gave you one. The poor priest went back empty-handed. Birbal tried to convince the king to change his decision, but failed. The next day, Akbar went to go hunting, but Birbal was not present in the court. He sent soldiers to Birbal's house to summon him to the court. Birbal said to the soldiers, Tell Jahan Pana that I will return the court once I finish cooking my khichdi. The soldiers conveyed the message to Akbar. He was intrigued and went to Birbal's house himself. He saw that Birbal had lit a fire, but the utensil was hanging very far away from it. Akbar became furious and said, You will never be able to cook kitchen this way. Birbal, the utensil is too far from the fire. Birbal replied calmly, Huzur, if the priest can receive warmth from a light, this was placed so far away from him, then I am sure that I will be able to cook my kitchen, which is relatively near to the fire. Akbar then realized his mistake. He called the poor priest the next day and rewarded him with 200 gold coins.